In this section, we'll focus on adding the tire tread and refining the details. Let's begin by applying shade smooth to the tire to make the surface look more natural. Next, let's create the tread pattern. Start by adding a plane, shift A, mesh, plane. Rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y axis, and then scale it down to fit as the base shape for the tire tread. You can use any reference from the internet to get an idea of how tire treads look. I will create a shape like this, but feel free to design your own. Once you're happy with the tread shape, add a shrink wrap modifier to make it conform to the tire surface. Adjust the offset value to set the tread thickness, and make sure to apply scale to avoid any distortion. Also, apply shade smooth to the plane for a cleaner look. Now, place the 3D cursor in the middle of the tire. Then, add an empty object, Shift, A, Empty, Plane Axis. Select the plane and set its origin to the 3D cursor. To repeat the tread pattern around the tire, add an array modifier to the plane. Uncheck the relative offset option and enable object offset instead. Use the eyedropper tool to select the empty as the object offset. Select the empty and rotate it along the y-axis. Increase the array count until the treads wrap around the tire's circumference. With the treads positioned correctly, select the plane again and add a solidify modifier. Increase the offset value to give the tread its proper thickness. Let's duplicate the tread for the other side of the tire. Select the tread and press Shift D to duplicate it. Then, delete the array modifier, since we don't need it for this step. 
Rotate the duplicated tread 180 degrees on the X axis, R, X, 180. If there is a visible gap between the two treads, go to edit mode, select the vertices, and move them closer until they align properly. Once positioned correctly, delete the duplicate plane and duplicate a new one instead. This time, rotate it along the y-axis to align it with the other side's tread pattern. To finish the tread placement, add a new empty, then apply another array modifier to the tread. Just like before, use object offset, select the empty, rotate it along the y-axis, and increase the array count to fit the entire tire radius. Once everything looks good, apply both the solidify modifier and shrink wrap modifier. Select the edge of the tread and pull it outward slightly so that it blends smoothly with the tire surface. Do the same for the left side to ensure a seamless transition. If the tread appears to be facing the wrong direction, you can simply fill the missing faces to correct it. To make the tread edges smoother, let's apply a bevel modifier. Select the tread edges, add a small bevel, and apply the array modifier to finalize the tread.
Also, let's mark the wheel edges as sharp to define their shape better. Add an empty object at every wheel axle. Then, select the wheel, duplicate it, and place it on all the axles of the vehicle. And that's it. We've successfully created a 3D wheel with detailed tire treads in Blender. This was the final step in our two-part tutorial. If you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.